so hello guys welcome back to water delivery application project series so in this video we are going to learn how to create this beautiful sign in screen so that user can be able to log in into our application to use its facilities and to use its products so this is the continuation video series and uh, we come from the welcome screen by clicking the sign in screen we are navigated to the sign in screen so this video will covers all the designing parts corresponding to the sign in screen and in the next video we will cover all the back end functionality of this screen and we have divided this video into two parts in the first part we will design its interface and in the second part we will control its functionality so that the video should be divided into two chunks and it can be digested by anyone easily so guys if you are new to our channel then it is a request to please subscribe to our channel please like share our video comment on our video and subscribe to our channel so stay tuned and watch the video till the end So okay guys first of all we will have to create the activity for sign in screen for this click on layout and from here click on new and from here from the activity click on empty activity and let's give the name as sign in activity and click finish button so let's wait a while until gradle is built for us now come to the signin.xml file and let's start the designing process. Let's hide some windows to see the things clearly and from the palette let's drag an image view here. It will pop up to give us some selection for the image and from here click on logo so we have our beautiful logo here and click OK. Let's resize it so that we can give the constraints easily. Let's give the top, bottom, left and right constraint. And from the properties, let's give the layout width matching constraints. And from the height, we can give the 150 dp so that it may look fine. And from here give some vertical bias so that it will decide on the top part of the screen so that in the below part we can design our text view for taking the text and the buttons now let's go to the text portion and from here click and drag the simple plain edit text and place it here from here give the right left constraint and the top as well give the top margin as 50 dp and from here give the width matching constraints give the right and left 10 dp margin so that it will look fine now let's control some its properties first of all give the edit text sign in username and from here remove the text and we will give this text in the hint and in the same way let's drag the edit text for password and write it here give it right left constraints and the top constraint as well in the same way let's give its id as edit text sign in password and give the top margin 30 dp and control the width as matching constraint and give the 10 dp margin from the right and left edges and from here we will give the hint as password so 
So now we have to place the two text views for the forgot password and the register. So that if user forgot password, he will click on the forgot password text view and will navigate to that screen. And if he is new and have not registered, he will click on the register text view and navigate to the sign up screen. For this, we will click and drag two text view here. One for forgot password and second for the register. Click on this text view, give it top and left constraint in the same way. Repeat the same process for the second text view, give it top and right constraint. And select the first text view and give it id as txt sign in forgot password and in the same way we will give its id as txt sign in register give it text as forgot password and control its text style bold and from here we will give its top margin as 30 and the left margin as 20 dp so in the same way select the next text view and give its top constraints 30 dp and the right margin as 30 dp now it's time to give it appropriate attributes and then text we will write register and from the text style we'll give it bold text i think we will give the right and the left margin 10 dp so that it will come in the alignment with the text edit text for this click on it and give it 10 dp and also give it 10 dp margin now all elements are in the same alignment now let's click and drag a button here so that user can be able to click on this button and in the same way give its left right constraint and the top constraint from this text and give it 30 dp top margin and 10 dp left margin and 10 dp right margin and from the width we will give the match constraint now all element are in the same alignment and it will give a good look to every element so go into the split mode and we have to give the background of this button as a custom button we have designed for the sign up screen so if you are new to our channel then it is recommended to go to our second video where we have designed the sign the welcome screen and we have designed the custom button sign up button and sign in button so we will give that background to this sign in button and from here from the text button convert this to sign in and in the same way we will give its background as drawable button sign up and we will give the background tint at null and from here convert this android to app and you can see here our button is converted to our custom button we have designed for our sign up screen so guys the designing part of our sign in screen is completed now link this sign in screen with our welcome screen so that when our user click on this sign in button he will be navigate to our sign in screen let's do it so from the welcome activity we already have designed this sign in button event and from here declare an intent
so our screen is linked with our welcome screen now let's compile the application and see what happens here so guys we are seeing our welcome screen and from here when i'm going to click the sign in button i can see my sign in screen which is beautiful looking here and when i'm going to give the admin at and we can give the password some password here everything is looking fine here so guys this is enough for this session so in this video we have covered the designing part of our sign in screen so in the next video we will give the functionality where we will authenticate the user with our firebase so user will enter his email or password he will click on sign in button and and he will be authenticated with the firebase and will navigate it to our dashboard screen so this is enough for this session see you in next video